So yeah, I've picked up a Nintendo Switch. Anybody want to buy one? Just thought I'd get out of there before any smart arsey comments in the bottom line down below in the comment box say, Oh, when's up for Jim? Sale Jim, I can't even speak. How many of them are you going to buy? Do you have a monkey in your pants? So then folks, how's it going? Monkey Spas 5000. This is a very quick um, video about Nintendo Switch and Breath of the Wild, I suppose is what it is, and my thoughts of the console and the game so far. Um, I picked it up on launch. In the previous video you saw I had one that had um, a pit dead pixel or something like that, but that's been sorted out. I've got a replacement console, which seems to be fine, although I am petrified to dock or undock it just now without a screen protector, which I'm getting tomorrow, because it can somehow scratch the screen, stupid Nintendo, why make a dock that scratches the screen? Although, I don't know how easy it does scratch the screen, or if it's like, you're like, mm, try to get it to sit in the dock, wiggling it, wiggling it back and forward, and maybe that's the problem, I do not know, I do not know, but, what did I get? I suppose, first of all, uh, the way to get it out, the way to get it out of the way, get it out of the way first, um, I got the Switch console itself, obviously, um, the, oops, wrecking stuff, the blue and the red Joy-Con variant, what do they call that, I don't know, kitty colour version, um, I also got the, uh, what do they call it, Pro Controller as well, which I'll talk briefly about, I got the little carry case doohickey with a screen protector, which I need to get another screen protector because issues, replacement switch, etc. I got um, Breath of the Wild, and I also got a uh, Super Bomberman R, is what it's called. I've yet to open this actually, but um, yeah, it's the game cases. They're tiny and there's like nothing in them. Be good if there was at least, uh, you know, instructions or something in there. I do not know. I do not know. It would have made it a little bit better. But yeah, my thoughts on the console so far. Decent interesting hopeful for the future is probably the easiest way to say it um i say i've not got it with me it's just sitting docked in the living room safest place is now until i get a screen protector for it but the action machine itself is very very small very sleek um sits in the dock well doesn't take up a lot of space because obviously it stands vertically um the when you're playing it mobile if you like portable style um, it's pretty decent actually, the thumbsticks are decent on it, I don't think, find them in a weird position for myself, I know some people have said oh, they have to move the, like, the right thumb in a weird place, but um, it's alright, it's perfectly playable in portable mode I would say. The Joy-Cons, when then the Joy-Con grip that you get with it, um, again it's playable, I was actually quite surprised how well it played like that, um, when at the day that I got the Switch, I got to Switch the game for some reason the controller was getting delivered by a different company, the Pro Controller, so I was playing it with the Joy-Cons in the grip thing, I don't even know what the proper word for it is, fuck knows, but um, yeah, and I was actually sitting playing it, I was like, oh my god, maybe I don't even need the Pro Controller, this is quite decent, it's alright, but then um, the Pro Controller came and it was like, oh yes, this is, this is good, it's expensive for what it is, but it is very, very good. I could have brought this through, but it's in the living room also. But yeah, it's very um, Xbox style in design. Um, the analog sticks are very, very nice, very, very smooth. The buttons are all very nice. I would even say that the the two top bumper buttons are in a better position or better <coughs> shaped, excuse me, um, than the Xbox One, for example. The only thing is the triggers themselves, for some reason, they're not analog. Do they not plan on having any games that need analog triggers? I do not know, I do not know. But um, obviously you've got the D-pad as well, which is all right. I'd expected something a little bit better Nintendo. Remember these days for the D-pads, um, considering it was your idea originally. I've got bogeys in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's usable. How well will it work with Street Fighter? I do not know. One thing I have to say though with the Pro Controller is something I think is missing. Obviously the console itself has got a headphone port on it, so if you're playing it portable, um, it's in your bed or on the toilet or wherever you want to play it, you can. Um, it's got a headphone jack on it, so you can put your headphones on. Now I'm the kind of gamer, if I'm playing Xbox One for example, late at night, 
I'll play with headphones on in the living room so I can have it turned up as loud as I want. I'm not going to disturb my wife or anybody else. Now, I think Nintendo maybe missed a wee bit of a trick here, to be honest with you. I was surprised to see that the Pro Controller didn't have a headphone jack. I know that I didn't expect the Joy-Cons to, because obviously 9 to 10 times you're going to use them connected to the Switch itself, which has got its own headphone jack. But um, yeah, I was kind of surprised and disappointed, I should say, that the Pro Controller doesn't have a headphone jack. But yeah, quite impressed with the hardware itself. Um, how capable is it compared to the other systems out there? Not very, but the form factor of it, obviously there has to be some compromises made and it's portable, battery power, etc, etc, etc. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty decent in the fact that you can just simply dock it in, play it on your TV, take it away, a hotel or whatever, away for the weekend, away on holiday, and you can go and play it out there. Um, with, do you know what I mean? It's very portable is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's pretty decent. I quite like it. Now, I'd love to show you gameplay, another bits and bobs of it, but Nintendo being Nintendo, it's probably safer not to on YouTube these days. But um, the interface, it's very, very nice, very, very simple, very, very sleek, very, very minimalized. There's not much to it. You can tell it's like a, a brand new console. It's not even got a web browser or YouTube, Netflix, anything like that. They'll most probably come. But the interface of the console is very, very sleek. One thing I will say is, the speed of the console through the interface or the operating system, if you like, is very, very quick compared to the Wii U. For example, the Wii U, you'd come out of menu, you'd sit and wait, and then it would load. And then, do you know what I mean? It took a bit of time. This is very, very quick, very, very quick. Um, and it's got a button on the controller or the Joy-Cons where you can also screen grab as well. If you can hear that, it's my dog barking or whelping. Do not know what it's doing? Um, so you can take screenshots as well, which is very, very quick. Hell of a lot easier to do it on the Switch compared to the Xbox One, for example, or even the PS4. And you can share it to Facebook as well. The Xbox One, you can't even do that easily. So yeah, I do like that. It is pretty good. So console itself, the design of it, um, I like it. The operating system's very, very nice as well. I do like that. Um, it's just a case of let's see what comes. Hopefully Nintendo can get the games rolling out, uh, hopefully some decent third party support. Um, it's it's a th kind of thing with games like Skyrim. Who's going to play it by Skyrim for it but anybody who wants to play it portable or on the go is going to buy Skyrim for it. So there's, there's that sort of thing as well. But we'll have to wait and see. To be honest with you, it's probably just going to be a Nintendo console. Very few third party developers. I can't see um, a brand new game, whatever. Let's, for argument's sake, Watch Dogs 3. When if that came out down the line, coming out for it or anything like that, it will probably be the minimal FIFA's coming out, etc. Similar to the Wii U, and then third party will drop away. But I think what we need to realise when it comes to Nintendo that nine out of ten times, because they're so far away from the other systems and functionality and power, that it's really going to be a Nintendo machine. So you have to maybe pay that bit of premium to play the Nintendo games. Which I suppose leads me on to price, um, 280, 300 I think it was, something like that in the UK. For, I don't know, for what it is, it's not that bad price. I think it would have been better around about the 200 mark, 230 pounds mark, something like that. It would have been a much, much better price. But it's one of those things, Nintendo machine, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with it down the line. Software is going to define the system, I suppose. Hopefully it's not a case of... We're waiting months and months and months and months and months for a new game to come out, and then months and months and months for another new game game to come out. I'm hopeful. eShop just now, for example, there's not even um, the backwards compatible games like Virtual Console. That's what I'm trying to say. There's nothing like that just now. So they will come online. Um, sort of subscription service is coming as well. It says late 2017. Would I pay for that to play a couple of online Nintendo games? What Mario Kart? Um, Mario Kart, Splatoon 2, <laughs> I don't know, probably not to be honest with you, I do not know, but it depends, it just really depends, I do not know, time will tell, depends on the cost of it for example as well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, but yeah, as a machine itself, very impressed with it, it's functionality, it's the fact that you can take it with you, play, excuse me, AAA games, on the go, so to speak, um, proper full-fledged Zelda, I was playing earlier on in my car while I was waiting on my son at rugby, so it is pretty cool, pretty cool to do that. 
Um, but let's say just have to wait and see what happens when it comes to future games and how things will pan out. Well, I hope it will sell really well, but it's a second console for anybody at the end of the day. Nobody's going to buy it as a primary console because you're not going to get all the games that the other systems are basically getting. So who knows? Hopeful. Nintendo Switch? Hopeful. That's what I am, I suppose. But yeah, um, talk very, very briefly about Breath of the Wild. Now, I've only played, surprisingly, properly, um, Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, although I don't think I've ever, ever properly completed it, and the one that was on the 3DS, Link Between Worlds, I think I got to the very end, and for some reason I probably, I probably sold it or something before I even completed it, me being me, I do not know, but um, I've been playing this constantly since I got it, hence why Bomberman's not even opened yet, and I was a bit peeved when, because you can't, can't transfer your save files if you like from one machine to the other so obviously the one with the that had the duff screen i had to restart it i was a bit peeved because i was going to have to restart it but um yeah it didn't bother me at all i restarted it i'm past where i was the first time around i found places i hadn't found the first time around i found weapons i hadn't found the first time around i found big fuck off monstery things that i hadn't even found the first time around so yeah it is really really good um an amazing game masterpiece is probably the easiest way to explain it um, I'm not going to hear my dog running down the hall probably there. I'm um, not going to say much more about it. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you're an open world sort of fan, I don't know, it's got just lots of elements of a game adventure. You can just go off and do whatever you want and follow the quest or do whatever. It's just, it's really hard to explain, but it is an amazing, amazing game. Um, Performance wise, it chugs a little bit time now and again. Um, I think one of the first bit, Kikaroka Village, completely said that wrong probably. If you go in in there for the first time when it's raining, it chugs a bit. Um, Digital Foundry done a video of it. It stays at 30 frames per second quite a lot of the time, then it drops down to 20 as well. Um, but it, I'd say it doesn't detract massively from the overall experience. The game's still getting ridiculous, ridiculous reviews. Um, it doesn't doesn't really upset me, to be honest. We're not trying to defend the machine in any way, but... Digital Foundry is Digital Foundry. When since when have we been bothered about frame rates as much as since when Digital Foundry came along? I, I do not know. I do not know. The Super Nintendo had a lot of games that slowed down. Mega Drive had a lot of games that slowed down. Do you know what I mean? If you're bothered about games that slow down, do not own a console. Get a high end PC and just chuck the money at it. That's the only way you'd be happy. A console is a console. It's going to have some compromises one way or another. Um, it is going to have frame rate issues now and again, but for the price of any console, you can't really complain. You're still getting a good gameplay experience, which is what you get from this. Um, I haven't been able to put it down. I think it's absolutely amazing. It is basically probably right now for the, a lot of people a Zelda machine, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, we'll see what else comes out for it. Uh, I know Mario is obviously later down in the year. Hopefully there's going to be some stuff in between, etc. Um, I'm hopefully not get finished this too quickly. Um, I suppose it brings bringing on the price of the games as well. I think it's just because it's a new system. They're trying to take the absolute piss. Um, I've seen this for sixty pound. I got it reasonably cheap because because I burped in their face and I said, "Give me it cheap right now." No. Um, so yeah, I got it quite cheap because I was returning something else at the same time that I no longer wanted and I previously bought. Um, I don't always just sell or return stuff but yeah I got it quite cheap I wouldn't have paid full price for it anyway but hopefully it's one of those things do you know what I mean it's a brand new system it's a brand new launch if you like they try, do try to take the piss and have the games way up there price wise but hopefully they'll start to come down a little bit and be a little bit more sensible but we'll see as well another thing actually guys let me know I've never been into Argos Tesco's Argos not Argos Asda Tesco's two large supermarkets in the UK here now they didn't really support the Wii U at all when it came to a display for the games or anything like that. I'm curious to know if you've seen anything for the Switch in either of those stores. Saying that, you're going to have a tiny little display with like four games on the shelf. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but has there, any been, has there been anything on display in those stores as well? Because if stores like that don't support it, it puts some doubts in my mind how well it'll be, how well it'll do as well. But maybe they'll wait for um more games etc for it you could say it's like a soft launch just now and maybe it's really not until christmas 
where you'll have your Mario and hopefully some other games that it'll start to get a wee bit of momentum. But yeah, um, I think it's good. Time will tell how well it does, to be honest with you. But as a machine, yes, a lot of people slating it. A lot of people saying Nintendo should just make a normal console. But at the end of the day, they're never really going to compete with Microsoft and Sony when it comes to power. That's not really what they've been all about. It's If you want to play the Nintendo games, you do need to get a Nintendo console. And um, it is the latest console. And so far, yeah, I rate it quite highly. I'm enjoying it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how, how it goes in the future, I suppose, and what games come out for it. Hopefully they do a lot with the virtual console, backwards compatibility, there's been talk about GameCube games, stuff like that. But um, we'll, we'll see what happens as well. Interestingly, the game carts, which, ah, oh, well I just opened Bomberman. I'm going to say, I'm not going to do it obviously, but bizarre, Nintendo being Nintendo. Oh look, I, an unboxing. Nintendo being Nintendo. Look at that. Oh, that's quite pretty inside. The game, they could have had some instructions in there. It looks like there's a space for instructions up there, but then they went at the last minute. Nah, no instructions. People don't like to read, they just put the games in. I'm not going to do it, but apparently Nintendo made the labels absolutely stinking to taste. They don't smell of anything, but they've got some sort of non-toxic chemical on it. So if, if a little baby goes, it's supposed to be absolutely ming-mong disgusting to try and stop them putting it in their mouth, which is a bit crazy. A bit mental, a bit mental. But I think we'll leave it there though guys. Probably rambled on a lot. Um, or enough I should say. It's my initial thoughts on the machine. Um, I'm pleased with it. Happy I got it. Breath of the Wild is absolutely amazing. The fact that you play it portable as well. Um, I'm hopeful for the machine for the future. We'll, we'll see what comes. Fingers crossed. Nintendo has a really good machine here. But it's one of those things. Time will tell. And we'll see what support we're getting. How quickly the games come out as well. But I say the folks, we'll leave it there. As always for me, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?